How's it going everyone? Today we have this 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution RS Evo 8. This is a very clean weightless white car. The RS model is one of my favorites as it's a true track ready spec. And there are a few differences between this and a regular GSR. That makes it a little bit more unique. This Evo has right around 131,000 miles. Clean title, two owner car. This one was shipped in out of North Carolina, traded into my friend's dealership for a GTR and then they reach out and sold this Evo to me. Unfortunately, when they tried to do the emissions, it had failed and required to go to Waver Station out here in Arizona. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, I'm having to sell this one out of state because the car has too much stuff done for it to go through the waiver. So currently it is not detailed, but the paint is in fantastic condition, especially for the age. Um, the goal of these walk around videos is kind of show you all the imperfections and, and what to expect. We don't want to hide anything, especially for buying out of state. And we do plan on having the car detailed and really solid photos posted online. Um, hopefully in the next few days. But we're gonna start off with the front end. <coughs> the headlights are in really good condition. They are not oxidized or hazied other than the front end. A lot of this stuff that you see will come out with our when our detailer goes through it. It's just dirty right now. But you will get your minor rock chips, very typical on, you know, these cars are still a little bit lower in stock bug chipping, all that stuff will be uh, washed out. But overall, really good. The hood doesn't have a whole lot of rock chips either. Hopefully you can see through the quality. Still has the factory hood vent. I believe this hole here is actually for a front plate and that's where they mount it as you're not really supposed to mount directly in front of the intercooler this car has an accident free carfax show you the front fender you can see that's got really nice clear on the on the paint still a couple rock chips these are bug guts a lot of this stuff is coming off. That's a rock chip. It does have the Evo 9 MR wheels with brand new, or not brand new, but close to new tires. These wheels are in really good condition too. I don't think there's any curb rash on them. And then down here on the kicker, uh, very calm. You're going to get scratches and stuff just from when you're, you're throwing your legs and feet in the driver's seat and that it'll that will come off as well there's really no uh, major dents or dings on this car the RS models did not come with a spoiler it also didn't come with HID uh, bulbs. It still had the projector housings. Um, the whole goal of the car was to be a factory race car that you could buy legally and still be a street car. And they only came in white and red. It was also, its goal was to be the lightest Evo. Not the lightest in the world, but the lightest one that you could buy. And uh, you'll see they'll cheap out in areas to also save on weight, such as the no spoiler. Uh, the door handles aren't painted. The mirrors aren't painted. The trunk is uh, basically gutted from the factory. Um, there's no sound deadening in this car. I know the, uh, the front diff, or it could be the rear diff, is a little bit different than the GSR. 
show you around here. Rear vortex generator. Awesome clear coat all the way around. This one has the stubby antenna. Looks a lot better than the uh, the really long factory one. I think on the RS as well, they don't have the uh, the rear window wiper. Cause I know the GSR model actually does. So it's another area where they cut weight at. There's a, as you can tell the calipers are faded. They do that when they see a bit of heat, but this also has a little bit more miles. So it's kind of typical. Some bright red calipers that look really nice on this. I'll show you the interior. The RS also did not have power windows. And uh, I believe it did not come with a radio factory either. The radio was added in along with speakers. As you can see, you have the manual crank window. This Evo is really for the purists. If you're worried more about luxuries and conveniences, you're kind of missing the whole point of this car. The steering wheel is in pretty decent condition. The shift knob is worn and would need to be replaced. It's got the nice factory blue Recaros, super comfortable seats. Then I have my jacket in the back. I'll take that out. Back seats look great. Center folds in. We'll pop the trunk. <clears throat> this also has the gas door that actually opens a common issue on these is uh, a lot of times you'll pop the gas door and they won't uh, actually spring open. You'll have to go in there and pry it out, but this doesn't have that issue. Very common on the Evos. And this is how the trunk pretty much came from the factory. Got it out. This car does have all the VIN numbers, all original parts. Please excuse the dirty. It does have the Busher Racing 3 inch exhaust with the muff or the Magnaflow muffler. One of my personal favorites on the Evos. The VIN tag everywhere on this car. As you can see there. We're gonna pop the hood open and I'm gonna give you an idea of everything done to this. Um, it does have an aftermarket front mount intercooler. I do not know what brand that is. Um, there are some nice parts, but there's also a couple cheap parts and then one of them will be the charge piping for this intercooler. Pop this open. Still has all the original front clip, the original front bumper, uh, fenders. And so we have a Mishimoto aluminum radiator. Uh, one of the cool mods that's done on this one is the Sheepy Built Tubular Manifold. I believe this is a, a V-Band factory location, not a T3 or a T4. Uh, it also has the whole hot side, so the down pipe that connects to the cat back, uh, the turbo smart wastegate, <clears throat> and this is internally gated, so it's routed back into the down pipe. Um, I believe this is the ETS intake, um, the charge pipe. Like I said, it's it's eBay. I'm not really sure what brand, but it's pretty cheap. The welds aren't all that great, but it works. Uh, but you do have a nice tile blow off valve. Um, there's also FIC 1450 injectors. We have the JDC coil and plug conversion. So you got a little bit more reliable ignition. Um, when we tuned it, we put a new AM320 fuel pump. What else? There might be a few things I'm gonna forget. Oh, we also put it on a electronic boost controller. It had a manual and we converted that back. 
it does have a upgraded clutch, but I'm not sure um, what they put in it. So this radiator is actually Evo 456 style. And the benefit of running this is you're not running, you know, your upper coolant hose right next to the manifold. So on the older generation, they actually had it way over here. So a lot of people upgraded this. You don't have to worry about your upper hose getting hot and warped over time. And that would require the Evo 456 upper radiator hose. And then you can use a factory lower hose. <clears throat> That's a mod I did on my own Evos. I've owned three of these too. Very familiar with these cars. It also has upgraded cams, dual valve springs, and ARP head studs. Um, I don't really know what cams they are. They sound really similar to my old Kelford 272s. And uh, we'll actually start the car so you can kind of hear it. This will be more of a cold start. Close my gas door. Just start her up. cold out here today in Arizona. We do have the AFR and boost gauge, they do both work. Another thing I want to do is show you underneath the car. I'm going to grab my flashlight over here. Oh, yeah. Rest free. 
super clean car. And this one actually, we came out of uh, North Carolina and uh, sometimes out there you can get rest from being near the ocean, but this one doesn't have any of that. So that's another pretty great highlight of this car. Super clean underneath. Tires are in great condition. We had this uh, retuned for 91 when it came out of North Carolina. It was tuned for uh, 93. Originally by Force Fed Performance, which is a shop out there. Um, but it made right around 400 wheel on 91. We have it set up pretty conservative for this uh, Precision 5858. And that is the turbo that's on here is Precision Turbo. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of the FP turbos. They spool nice and loud and they make really good power and spool up pretty quick. But Precision Turbos are nice as well. But anyways, that is going to pretty much conclude our little walk around video of this Evo 8 RS. If you want to make sure it's still available, go to azautohunters.com. We do ship all across the U.S. We can help arrange shipping. Uh, be sure to follow our Instagram, azautohunters.com, and thanks for watching.